the state of education in Kenya is a cause for concern. One of the critical issues aggravated this situation is that these coordinated and abrupt changes of policies and directives in the entire system, all in specific areas of education. The most recent is the government's change in providing universities, university subsidies, specifically through loans, such as the Higher Education Loans Board, HELP. These changes have created barriers for economically disadvantaged students, hindering their ability to access higher education and jeopardize in the future of an entire generation. Additionally, the reduction of withdrawal of capitation to universities has far-reaching consequences. Parents and guardians are forced to bear a heavier financial burden to ensure their children can access education. Students are forced to stay in deplorable living conditions prone to delinquency. This situation raises valid questions about the decision-making process within the Ministry of Education, prompting the need for transparency and accountability in their actions. The delay in the release of capitation for secondary schools is also a major concern for school management and parents. Therefore, urgent action is required from higher education stakeholders to collaboratively devise realistic measures that ensure the continued provision of quality education and implementation of policy. It is imperative for the government and relative authorities to engage in open dialogue with all stakeholders, especially religious organizations, educators, parents, and students to develop sustainable solutions. Notably, in many places, the current grade seven of the junior secondary school have had very little learning time. The operationalization of the junior secondary school is still very unclear. We appeal to all the students and teachers in this period of exams to observe the highest level of integrity and honesty avoiding any form of cheating or examal practice so frequent 